Thank y'all for tuning in. If you came here, you came to the right place if you're having well problems. So this video, what I'm gonna describe is why you're having low pressure and what situations could arise and why, you know, show you exactly what can happen. So here what we have is all of these are used pumps and all these are different problems. So you have your regular plastic ABS fitting. And like you saw here, the fitting itself completely broke, detached the pump from the pipe, and they have absolutely no water going into the house. You come over here to this pump. This is on white PVC pipe, and they still were getting some pressure. It just would always stay around 15 or 20 PSI. It'd stay low because you can see here, the pipe itself had cracked, still sending some of the pressure up towards the house but most of it is gonna be shooting out as a spray and then just kind of circulating. It would spray out of here and it would suck right back into the pump and just do a circle. Now what that's gonna do, if it does have a hole in the side of the fitting or the side of the pipe, it's gonna stir up a whole lot of sediment and you're gonna start getting a lot of grit, a lot of dirt, whatever the case may be you know, in your situation. But your water could become cloudy in a situation where the pipe has broke. Now you come over here, let me show you the difference in pipe thicknesses and why it's important. This is 100 PSI black pipe and you can mold it with your fingers. I'd never recommend putting a pump on that. You come over here, this is 125 PSI pipe. You can tell that's a little bit thicker than this right here. Then you move over here, this is 160 PSI black pipe. Nowadays, they, they call this 200 PSI, but this is thicker than this. So if I'm gonna hang a pump, I would never hang it on this because 100 PSI pipe, I'm gonna say inevitably is gonna split just in, in this area. Right here above where the clamps are, this is your highest area with the most amount of pressure because of the head pressure that pushes down from the water. Also, the amount of pressure the pump builds to service the house. Now. You see in this instance, you have a fitting here and a fitting here. This one is plastic as well. They all died for different reasons. Now, this pump is a Utilitech. This would be a um, tractor supply pump. Average lifespan of these pumps is about six or seven years. Come over here to a jacuzzi. These have awesome, awesome lifespans, 1986. So, you know, this, you probably got 20, 30, 30 years of service, which is rare. And then you come over here to this pump, which is a Red Jacket, really good name brand. They're all going to have the same motors, but different pump designs. So you'll get probably 10 to 15 years out of life out of that one before it's going to die. So I really wouldn't recommend going to Tractor Supply or Lowe's and buying a, <clears throat> buying a pump from a company like that. Come over here, you look at this pipe, you see all that build up. Let me see if I can get some out. You see how it, see it all coming out? This is all iron build up. Now what that's gonna do, all that mineral, all that grit passes through the inside impellers of the pump. The impellers on most pumps are gonna be made out of a plastic, out of a nylon, and then the outer casing is gonna be metal. So if you were to send, let's just say, it services a million gallons of water through its lifetime. If you start throwing sand in there and allowing sand or grit or whatever the case may be you're trapping in your filters, the impellers in the pump are gonna wear out and the tolerances are gonna wear away. And then the ability for it to build pressure slowly decreases over time. A brand new pump can build 200 PSI. Eventually it's gonna wear down to 150, then it'll wear down to 120, and then it'll wear down to the point where it can't even satisfy the pressure switch to cut the pressure switch off. So whatever your case may be, you know, most situations people are having pumps and, and you go down and you look at the gauge and the gauge says, oh, it's got 25 PSI and it won't build anymore. You have water, but your water cuts on and it cuts off. If you turn your breaker off, your, your water pressure might be at 40, it might be at 30, it might be at 20. If, if you turn the breaker off and you're not using water anywhere and the pressure gauge goes from you know, showing 30 pounds of pressure all the way to zero and you didn't have any spigots open, well, that means the water that was in the system went somewhere. Where did it go? 
in a situation like this it all leaked out of the crack in the pipe or you could have a check valve that has failed typically check valve will come over here and we'll look at this pump this was a failed check valve you see that that flapper down in there that actually moves you can see me moving it it rides on a stem and on that stem is a spring and when the water goes up it lifts that little cap and the water travels around it well eventually water traveling around that cap is going to erode and deteriorate that cap to where it no longer does its job and every time the pump kicks on it'll build up to its pressure and then when the switch clicks off you'll watch the pressure gauge slowly go back down to zero so if your pressure is fluctuating and you don't really know why it's either a hole in the pipe somewhere in the fitting cracked fitting whatever the case may be or it's a bad check valve so that's just one one of many situations when it comes to pumps and what could be the problem typically it's low pressure or no pressure if you know and you've determined that your switch is not the problem and your tank is not the problem with this video these are all the scenarios that you're going to find you're either going to find a hole in the fitting you're going to find a crack in your pipe or you're going to find a fitting that's completely broken off every scenario is different if you have any questions you need some help before you tackle this job give me a comment and i'll get in touch with you as soon as i see it come up and i'll try to help anybody i can thank you all for watching this video and please hit that subscribe button